we're at the Stafford Showground, with our two teams hot out of the stalls and raring to go. They each get £300 and an after shop for three items. And then it'll be the first past the post to collect all that cash. Let's take a sneaky peek as to what's coming up. The Reds are blowing the budget. I'm afraid we've spent our money and we haven't got that much left. Well, the Blues are counting the pennies. Oh, you spend a bit more money, guys. Oh, come on, come on. Down at the auction, the Reds have gone a bit hatty. Go on. <laughs> the Blues are keeping tight-lipped. Let's meet today's teams. Well, it's girls versus boys today with our ravishing ladies wearing red, Sue and Anne. And for the blues, it's Tex and Wren. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi. Sue. Sue. Yes. You are looking fantastic, girl. Thank you. So what's all this red tip for business? Based loosely on Jenny Josie's poem, Warning, when I'm an old lady, I shall wear purple and a red hat that doesn't suit and doesn't go. I spend a pension on brandy and we shall have no butter. Ah. So, it's a rather disrespectful pensioners' association, then, is it? <laughs> well, you could put it like that. It is growing old disgracefully. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> and you always go in this garb with this colour scheme. There's only two rules, and one is if you're out, you wear purple clothes and a red hat. Yes. And you have fun. OK, what sort of fun do you have, then? Oh, we've done um, hot air ballooning, we've been on the trip to see the Northern Lights. Um, Gad about a bit, though. Mm -hmm. Well, this is lovely, isn't it? What about the unruly and cheeky old tarts? Where's that come from? <laughs> you choose a silly name for your chapter. Oh, do you? And we tried to think of something that would encapsulate what we are. <laughs> now, Anne, how did you two meet? Was it in a debauched state? No, no, we were very sedate young ladies. 17 years ago, we met at work, and then we became very great friends. Brilliant. Uh, where did you work? We worked for our local GP. What I can ask <laughs> you about, though, is your hair-raising hobbies. Like what? Like um, parasending off perfectly good mountains in New Zealand. Jumped off and he kept it up for 40 minutes. So you came down smiling anyway, that was the main <laughs> thing. Yeah, very good. How are you going to get on, you two, today, when it comes to buying all this stuff for Bargain Hunt? Well, we're very hopeful, aren't we, Anne? And we work as a team. At yes. So we can work as a team yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Anyway, welcome to Bargain Hunt. Thank I think you. we're going to do jolly well. Now, chaps, we've got these regal queen bees over here, but it was actually the queen's head that brought you together, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was, Tim. Is that your boozer? It was our local boozer. And um, you've had all sorts of adventures together? Yes, we have. We've uh, been out for Ren Stag Do, dressed as nurses, in full full outfits. Really? In the smocks. Smock? Wearing tights. Mini skirts? <laughs> Turned off. So high. <laughs> Fishnet tights? Really? Yes. That is real boy bonding, that, isn't it? Wow, oh, we have no shame. No. But your career tech should mean that you're very, very comfortable with our crew and all this stuff today. Yes, yes, it feels weird being this side of the camera, but... What exactly do you do? I'm a cameraman stroke vision mixer for a, a shopping channel here in the UK. Brilliant. Ren, what do you do for a living? I'm an uh, ambulance technician for West Middles Ambulance Service. And have you ever had any interesting call-outs? From time to time, we get called up to do some things that are a little bit more extraordinary. Like what? Uh, I've boiled an egg for somebody before now, and I've turned TVs off. You are joking. No. <laughs> do you not get cross as an ambulance man being called out to boil somebody's egg? You, you calm down a little bit when you realise they can't get out their arms yet. Oh, yeah. They, their not... carers haven't turned up and they get a bit cross. Yes, exactly. I mean, there is, there are all those excuses, of course. And you're a bit of a grease monkey. A little bit, yes. You ride a motor bicycle yourself? I do, yes. Yeah. I ride a Harley, Harley Davidson. And what's that called? Uh, it's actually called a fat boy. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. So will you be buying automobilia today on Bargain Hunt, if you can find it? If I see something that takes my fancy, I might do, yeah. What sort of things are going to rev your engines, then, Tex? Well, I, I like ceramic, so I'll be keeping my eye out for a nice piece of ceramic. OK, fine. Well, this is teamwork. I can see this building already. Now, the money moment. Here's your £300. £300, you. look. You know the rules. Your experts await. And off you go. And yes. very, very, very good luck. Jolly nice red hat. Let's meet today's experts. And another one with his hat on, it's Thomas Plant for the race. Hoping to ring up a profit for the blues, it's Christina Trevanion. 
the hats are off and the Reds mean business. Now, what's on today's shopping list? What are we going to be buying today? Something quirky, I think. Quirky? It's something yeah. that sort of uh, denotes our red hat quirkiness. Christina has gone over to the dark side. I feel like I'm with a couple of super villain tax and red. So it was a plus, you know, yeah. the red hat ladies. Yeah, yeah. What's our plan? Buy cheap, sell expensive. Buy cheap, sell expensive, okay. Okay, teams, hop it. Let's start the clock. Ribbit. <laughs> Let's go, go <Come> on. <laughs> Let's go. It is your show your chance to shine yeah. and I'd like to see your fresh eyes oh, yeah. on stuff. My granddad used to make a lot of pottery so make I've it. got yeah. oh, so I've got okay. a bit of a love soft spot for pottery. Okay, alright, so if we look for some pottery yes. and I'm thinking something medical. Yeah? yeah? Let's see what we can find. Right, let's have a good, really good look around. The girls are already causing Tom some problems. Where are you going? I see, I leave you for five minutes. Show, so you got, yeah, yeah, there you are. You're, you know, Ooh. see everything. Yeah. Go around everything. Tex knows what he likes. There's a vase on this table that's caught my eye. This one here. Oh, that is rather beautiful, isn't it? Um, it's quite a late one. Originally, they would have been made of a pair, this wonderful baluster shape and really impressive, beautiful, sizable pieces. But I think without its pair, I'm quite late. But it's a very, very reasonable price, £65. If we can get that down slightly, that would be great. But it's a nice decorator's piece. Sure. Thank you. What would your best price be on this? I'll do it at 50 50 I still think that is quite top end for me. We'll actually. leave that for now then. We can come back to this if we're struggling thing. later. Really mm. thing, but and it's yeah. blue. People like blue. People <laughs> do like blue, absolutely. Yeah. Great colours. Yeah. We'll yeah. come back to this if we need to later. Yeah, right over. then. But while one door closes for the blues, another door opens for the reds. That's lovely. The letter rack, yeah? Letter OK. Rack, but, uh, it's not quirky, but it's a bit yeah. of wood. Yeah. Why do you pull out the drawer at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. And this is when you get to see the real quality. But look at those dovetails yeah. here. Yeah. Look at that craftsmanship, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. How old do you think it is? There's, there's something on the top. It's a bit of a clue to see how old it is actually in there. In your own time, girls. Do you mean on the front, then? On the front, there's, there's, there's maybe numbers which tell you how old it is. 1897. <laughs> there you go. Do you know what happened in 1897? No. I wasn't around. Well, I wasn't insinuating you were around. <laughs> Diamond Jubilee. The Jubilee in June 1897 commemorated Queen Victoria's 60th year on the throne. How much is it? Well, absolute death, 150. Are you sure that's the absolute...? 130. But that is it. That is it, is it? That is it. Even about that. Poor pensioners out for a good time. Well, I think, I, I, I think I, I, you, girls, you girls can have a chat. Go, go and have a chat. And I'm, I'm going to have a look. No, yes, that, please, with, with the man, with the, with the man. That's it, Thomas. Keep those reds in order. Would you take 125? No, honestly. Uh, you really I, would? Yeah, two, two for It's made yeah. for us, yeah. really. I think so. They certainly seem to like it. What do you think, Tom? The quality is yeah. second to none. Yeah. I've not seen a better one. Yeah. I, love I think we go for that. Yes, yes, yes we will. Yes. The dovetail yeah. the quality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, you have sure. yourselves. Yeah. You have indeed. You, you, you have indeed. Well Thank you so much. I wish you all the best with it. Thank, Thank you very much. I think you'll do well with that. For £130, let's hope the dealer's right on that one. Well done, Reds. Now, how are those blues getting on? So, we've got here a wonderful stalk or crane. So, that's fantastic, isn't it? Great colours. OK, so he's been made um, in a, a, what we call slip made. So, he's been made in a mould like that. OK, so we've got this wonderful sort of body here. And then he would have been glazed with these wonderful drizzle glazes and things. Plus, there's no brakes on the beak. So, I'm just checking for some restoration on the beak there but it looks in excellent condition it really does it does look quite nice sat on a, a mantelpiece or by a fireplace yeah i mean it's a piece of studio pottery the price looks to be quite reasonable the only thing that will put me off slightly is is the color maybe is a little bit drab but well we can't change that unless you want to get a, a <laughs> your paintbrush out <laughs> I, don't, I think it's quite eye-catching yeah i mean it's quite sort of 60s 70s feel to it it's a focal like point it's definitely get people talking ren what's your thoughts about our stalk um, I actually like the colour. Uh, I know that would go very good next to my fireplace. Oh, would it? <laughs> it would, yeah. Oh, OK. Mm. All right. 
Okay. Should we ask the price? Yeah, sure. Go on then, text go for it. Okay, what would you do? Fifteen pounds. What do you think's up, Christina? No. I would say he has got some very interesting things on his stall. So maybe before we settle on one thing, let's okay. have a look at the rest of the stall first. Okay. I know you're very keen and eager. <laughs> I want to I take you I don't, Well, take, cradle him with you. <laughs> I think Tex is hoping for a special delivery with that stalk. Let's see if the Reds have any new arrivals. <laughs> You're ten minutes in, teams. I like it because of the dragon, oh, the yeah. scales, the workmanship on it, and it's raised. Yes. My estimate at auction would be 40 to 60. Well, let's think about it then. Yes. I mean, I think it's a very nice thing. It is a nice. Don't get yes, me wrong. Yeah. The Blues have found another item with a £25 ticket price. What do you think about the little antelope there, or oh, deer? Is that floating your boat as much? Not as much as the store. This is, I mean, it's just such a great colour, isn't it? This wonderful sort of greeny, rich, it's jade, nice malachite colour, yeah. Very Art Deco, that sort of stylised figure there is really rather beautiful. Nice yeah, it's it, exactly, yeah. What do you think? It's nice. Um, Not as much as the stork? No, actually, I do like that one better. Stork or, stork or deer? Stork or deer? What do we think? Deer, deer oh dear. <laughs> Looks like the blues can't agree. We were going to give him the piece of pottery, weren't we? Yeah. I'll give I think if you can get it for sort of ten or twelve pounds, i.e., it's less of a risk. Okay. Okay. I shall try my best. Go on, Tex. Go on. Is he good at dealing? Yes. Oh. Would you be able to go any lower on, on the store? Twelve pounds? I think I've paid about twelve pounds for it. Go um, on. What did I quote you before? Ten. Did <laughs> Fifteen uh, four. Uh, three pounds, please. Go on, man. Thank you. Twelve pounds. Oh, 12 That's pounds. brilliant. Yay! First one down. Well done, team. At last. Let's hope it takes flight at auction, lads. So, guys, we've had um, 16 of our 60 minutes, quarter of our time gone. We've got one thing, which is fantastic. But I would quite like to get something to rent now. It's, it's, it's been, only fair. It's been quite quiet so far, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's not normally this shiny time. Is it not? Like, no. But tell you what, why don't we go through to this hall and see what's through here? OK. Yeah? While they find something nice for Ren, Thomas and the girls are working up quite a thirst. Oh, you'd like that. We don't drink beer, though. Oh, we're not Why German. Not? We, Why we, not? We drink wine. It's yeah. a bit big for a glass of wine. Do you think? But we're like well, I don't know. You'd have a good time if you drank all of that in wine. Yeah. So this is what we call a tankard. Tankards yeah. have lids, mugs don't. It's got a porcelain top of a, you know, a rather elegant-looking gentleman there with flowers in his hair and a glass of red and a bit like a member of one of your team, really. And we Absolutely. enjoy red wine. You enjoy oh, red wine, naturally. Red. So this is flashed glass, made in Bohemia uh, or Germany, and probably Bohemia. It's quite a good, yes. fun thing. Now, I would work at this price. Yes. It's a lot of money to begin with. Yes. And I think you need to talk to the lady yes. and see what you can do. Well, have a word. have a word. We go down to 70, yeah. well, that'll be it. That's it. You see, it's not profitable at 70 pounds. No, not profitable at 70. Yeah. If it was 40, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth, worth buying at 40, but not a, not a... Thank you. You've got to be, you got to be tough, ladies, and you've got to. You know, I like your bangle, madam. Oh, thank you. Ooh, can we buy that? Same. That's a shame. Yeah. We want to buy the bangle. No bangle and no tankard for the Reds. Come on, teams. You've still got two items to go. I know we're looking for something medical, aren't we? Maybe something medical. Because you are our ambulance man. Something medical. See, it's one. Should we see if there's any reflexes? At this time of the day. What have you seen, Thomas? It's quite a good-looking trunk. What do you think of that? Yeah. Very nice, lovely, yeah. slight dome to the top. I like the decoration. Yeah. You've got to lift it up. You've got brass handles. You've got to slip ah. in drop. What's the price on the trunk? Pardon? One thirty. Hundred pounds, I think we'd go for it. One ten, you've got a deal. What I like about it, yeah. it's, it's got that sort of. Can we just have a look at the base? I quite yes, like the base. Would you like? We move out of the way. Look at that. So look at these old rollers here. These mm. hidden rollers. Oh, that's nice. This looks like a ship's piece. It's, it's got a real look to it. It's it's almost a campaign look. Military expeditions as well. Biological, scientific. What do you think? The furniture. Yeah. It, I quite like the shape. Do you say it's a stained beach? 
and inside I don't know it's walnut it's right? walnut yeah and then inside what's this here uh, it's like a pine a pine inlay love these handles this is Victorian quite a good thing good quality unusual piece good quality unusual yeah it's got you know that's got a chance of making money and you've got a good you've got a lot there for your money right yeah I think you could do worse than that Right, and what was the best price again? The best price was £100. £100? That is genuine. Okay. Done. Done. Done for the red hat ladies. Another big bit of furniture. Now can we look for something pretty? Yes. Thomas is certainly taken by the big old trunk. Well done, red hatters. That's your second item. How do you feel, team? <laughs> Having seen those two items, we just had to have them. It's been a little controlling for me, I have to say. Maybe pointing. Um, which is good, but also bad, because I think they want to buy something pretty, and we've both bought two masculine items. While they're looking for a winner at the fair, let me show you something that's always a big hit in the auction room. A gavel. It's the symbol of all auctioneers. This particular example is most beautifully made. It's made of a hardwood. It's not ebony, but it's got a reddish tinge. And I think it's probably a Chinese hardwood called Zitan. But there's one very unusual feature about this particular gavel. And you have to look carefully on the end. Look at that. What is stamped into the wood? It is a miniature crown. Which gavel makers are there who stamp gavels with crowns like this? I know of none. But I do know this mark as being associated with a particularly fine chess piece manufacturer called Staunton's. They made chess pieces in the 19th century of exceptional quality in boxwood and ebony and ivory. And I reckon this is quite a rarity. Now, the dealer here in Stafford who showed me this piece also said in the same lot he bought this object. And I can tell you, this has nothing to do with auctioneering. Although there is a similarity, because we've got, again, a high quality turned handle, but then extends into a silver column with a terminal in the form of a crown. It's called a tip staff. It's an object which you would hold in an official capacity, perhaps as part of an ancient city livery company or as an alderman in a council. Whoever it is would hold a little tip staff like that and all the people in the meeting or the public parade would know that this is a person with some status. Which particular office is this tip staff associated with? I haven't got the faintest idea. You'd need to do a certain amount of research, which is, after all, part of the fun of this game. What I can tell you is, though, you have to make a snappy decision. Are you going to invest £150 in these two objects? If the gavel is Staunton, then it's certainly going to be of interest to a whole tribe of folk in the chess piece collecting community, and this thing could be worth anywhere between 150 and 250 pounds. And the tip staff, well, that's just in it for the buns. Now, how are the teams getting on with the shop? Have the Blues found something to get Wren's heart racing yet? Oh yeah, look at that. First aid box. Look at that. That's very appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever get these in the ambulance? Ours tend to be a little bit bigger and made of plastic. Oh, do they? Yeah. That's quite <laughs> fun, though, isn't it? I mean, how appropriate for you to have a look at that. It's got first aid on the top, and then we've got here manufacturing chemist Nottingham. So, nice British piece. Obviously, red interior there, so you've got all your different still compartments functional. for still functional, and it's a nice vintage piece. Yeah. If you can get that for not very much, I think. That's very appropriate for you. Okay. What do you think, Ted? Go for it. I love it. Yeah? It's straight up your street, so... It is, exactly. Probably wouldn't use it these days on the ambulance, though. No, not on an ambulance. <laughs> Definitely a home thing. <laughs> Five, ten pounds. Yeah. I don't think you can go wrong. Okay. All right? Yeah. Oh, wish him luck. Oh, yeah, mate. Spotted list. Then what's, what's the best price you could do on that for me? The very, very, I'll kill you for it, is 15. Fifteen pounds. Well, I think as a novelty thing, it's it's not bad at fifteen pounds. I don't yeah. think we're going to make a huge amount of profit on it if we make any profit at all. To be no. honest, 
about 12. Go on, 12. 12 pounds, well, guys. Anything for the pretty face. Steady. What do we think, guys? Oh, <laughs> men's choice? It's men's choice. 12 pounds. Are you happy, men? I'm happy with that, yeah. Sure? Yeah, Let's definitely. Let's shake the man's hand. Fantastic. Oh, 12 pounds, yeah. thank you. <laughs> An early first day tin for our blue boys. Let's hope it's not a quick fix. Are we are we thinking that we might spend a bit more now? Because we haven't spent a lot yet, really, have we? No, we've been quite conservative so far. We have far. been quite conservative. I suppose we're sticking to the plan, aren't we? Yeah. I, I should like this because it leaves me quite a lot of money at the end, but I feel like we need to spend a bit more money, guys. Oh. Come on, come on. While the blues refuse to splash the cash, the reds are having quite the opposite problem. This is by Royal Worcester. <laughs> yes. Royal Worcester, a premier factory. I love the orange, the burnt orange against the dripping fire of the gold. What's your very best on that? 100. 100 pounds. 100 pounds. I don't think we've got that much left, have we? No. no. I'm afraid we've spent our money, we haven't got that much left. Those reds are going to blow their entire budget if they carry on like this. Meanwhile, the thrifty blues are still not impressing Christina with their frugal choices. They look very modern. I think we'll leave those out. OK. That told them. How do you think it's going, boys? It's going very well. We've made some good decisions, some good purchases. We're happy, so... We're sticking to the plan, buying cheap. It's quite exciting. Um, no, really decisive. We haven't spent a lot of money at all. Um, so I think we probably want to start thinking about spending a little bit. I mean, we've only got one thing left, and when do you get the chance to come out with so much money to an antique spare? So I'd like them to spend a bit of money if we can. Good luck with that, Christina. Now, there's 20 minutes left of the shop. Have the Reds found a third item? I like this crown Devon set here. And what do you think this is for? Coffee. 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 Yeah. Date. I would think it's got to be turn of the century just after. Yeah, 1920, yeah. 1925. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. about that sort of thing. It's by Royal Crown Devon, Staffordshire. Yeah. Good factory. Yeah. 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 yeah, great factory. And it's got these applied jewels yes. of enamel to the powder yeah. blue with the flowers and the lovely right. bird decoration yeah. against that powder blue, which is very attractive. Yeah. I've got £95 on that, without any argument, £75. I have, we yeah. haven't got £75. No. £65, and you've got a deal. You can't do £65. <laughs> it actually, it's two near my own price. £68. Go on, Mrs. 68. 68. Thank you. You're going to go with that? <laughs> yes. yes, I think we'll go with that. Hooray! That's a third purchase for our red hat ladies. Big spenders, those girls. Big spenders! Spend a little time with me. With one item to go, and less than 15 minutes on the clock, Christina's determined to buy big for the blues. These are quite interesting guys. Very kit very, very cool. Uh, very interesting. Kitchen, <laughs> yeah. They are very in vogue right now. They really are. Fantastic. So these are 1950s, 1940s, 1950s kitchen cabinets. So this would have been the, the, the equivalent of a fitted kitchen. Okay. Very familiar. Really? Did you yeah. have any at home? No, but I've been to many houses and I've had them. It's also, it's got a brand name there as well. So it's great to have that, especially with online bidding, yeah. to get people attracted to it. And then more so, and it just goes on and on and on. Look at all the storage. <laughs> Christina sees herself as quite the domestic goddess. A housewife in the 1950s. I mean, this would have been... That would have been like the TARDIS for her. Exactly. Should we go and ask the price on it? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, you stand by it. Don't let anyone else look at it. And I'll go and ask the price, OK? Yeah. Yeah. Guard it, guard it. Hide it, hide it. <laughs> and they're certainly the right lads for the job. Oh, hello, Red Team. <laughs> How are the blues doing? We're home, hosed, bath and ready. I don't think I like the idea of Thomas in the bath. <laughs> I think means they've, been, they, they've finished first, they should buy the tea. I think that's a very good I idea. Don't think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you ready for a cup of tea. Yes. <laughs> no, don't worry. Any time. <laughs> the red team's all finished. Now, how about that price, Christina? No one else has bought it in the meantime. No, 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 no. We've we scared them off. I think he was asking 120 something. He says he'll take 115 if he drives a very, very hard bar. I think it stands. I think it could make you a profit at auction. I think they're very in very How much do you think it's looking at at auction? Well, I sold a not very nice one at an auction a few weeks ago for ninety pounds. I think we should risk it. Give it a risk. You wanted yeah. to spend big. I think it's. I think it's quite cool. I think yeah. you guys are quite cool. Spend big. Big. <laughs> yes, yes. Do it. One hundred and fifteen pounds. Yeah. That is our third and final item. I'll, I'll well break done. it out into a spell. <laughs> <laughs> Checkmate.
Time's up. I think we should go for a cup of tea. I'm yeah. Right, come on, let's yeah, go get the tea. <laughs> yeah, get the kettle on. I'm feeling a bit parched myself. Let's check out what the Reds bought. They opened with a Victorian oak stationery compendium for £130. They packed £100 into this campaign trunk. And they poured away £68 on an exotic bird coffee set. Hats off to the girls. Oops, I mean, hats on again. <laughs> Will they make up their minds? Sue, Anne, plan didn't work out exactly, did it? No, not quite. No. Not quite. But you had a good time, though. We had a wonderful time. Susan, what is your favourite piece? <laughs> the coffee set. Is it? Oh, good. What about you, Annie? Absolutely unanimous. <laughs> coffee set is right. absolutely lovely. Is the coffee set going to bring the biggest profit? No, no. I don't think so. What will? No. I think the stationery box and I think the chest. There we go. We have a split <laughs> prediction there. <laughs> uh, you spent up magnificently, I know. Remind me how much again? We spent £298. You are quite magnificent. <laughs> You girls. £298 is the right answer. Can I have two pounds, you please? May. Two, two pounds. pounds only. Now, Thomas Plant loves a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Tom? Come on. Do you know, this is impossible. It is such a challenge, but I'm up for it. Good. I have no idea what you're going to end up with. <laughs> £100, I hope. <laughs> I hope so. I agree. That would be marvellous. Wouldn't it? Well, it's the ultimate challenge, Tom, and I know no better man to pick up the baton. So, well done, Thomas. Meanwhile, why don't we check out what the blue team bought, eh? They flew off with a bargain pottery stalk for £12. An early first aid tin came to the rescue, also at £12. And they fitted in a 1950s kitchen cabinet for £115. OK, Ren Tex, sounds like a type of paint, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, do you have fun? Yes, yes, it's great fun too. Very entertaining shopping. So, Ren, which is your favourite piece? Um, I'm torn between my first aid box and the Texas store. Um, well, I'm leaning towards liking Texas store quite well. And what about you, Tex? Mine was my store. It let ties at me. I fell in love with it instantly. Okay. Is he going to bring the biggest profit, your stalk? Probably not. No? It's, it's more sentimental than anything. All right, fair enough. So what is going to bring the biggest profit, then? The kitchen units that Christina picked for us. Yeah. You'll hate it. Trust your expert. <laughs> um, and how much did you spend, chaps? £139. £139, that's one of 40, so that would be £161, please. Yes. 161. Quite a There's heap of money, this, isn't it? Yeah. 160, and one to one. come. There we go. Why, well, thank you. Now, Christina, my darling, what have you got in mind? It's all been very masculine and very male, so I might have to be some jewellery. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got too much money to you spend. You have. <laughs> I can, spend wisely. OK, we'll do. I we'll can see. see you're itching to go. <laughs> Seriously. Well, whatever you do, you're going to have to go smartly because we, right now, are getting ready to shuffle off to the auction. Well, I can't tell you how excited I am to be in Litchfield. Gosh, this is a lovely place, isn't it, Richard? It's very excited to have you. Well, very pleased we are to be at Richard Winterton Auctioneers of Litchfield. And uh, for the Reds, they've got a selection. First up is the Oak Stationery Compendium. Quite grand, that, isn't it? I have seen grandeur. Oh. How much? 50 to 80 pounds. Not grand enough. Isn't it? No, 130 pounds. It's a difficult thing to value, I think, because I'm not quite sure who buys these stationary cabinets anymore. There is a market for them, but they are looking for, you know, for the better model and a bit more going on. That's a bit up straight and okay. a bit, you know... Lovely. Well, you know thinking. about these things, lovely. So stand by for a bit of a loss on that. Okay. Now, what about this uh, trunk? That's a fantastic ah, trunk, isn't fabulous. it? Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, great. Great. Um, great example. It's, it's American. American. I was yeah. going to say, I think it's American, but it's, um, yes, yeah, a lovely, beautifully built. Yeah. It looks... It's got that look about it. Um, it's a lo it's a lo lovely thing to me. Yeah. It's great. Anyway, that's super. So, what's it worth? Uh, we've got 120 to 130. That is very good estimate. 100 pounds. These guys pay for it. Yep. The potential for profit in that and the downside yep. in this are equally balanced. Yep. So they yep. may finish up as squits. Yep. Um, and their last item is the coffee set. Okay. Um, which looks a bit to me slightly old hat. It's trying to be Carlton. It's not as good as Carlton. Therefore. What's he going to do? 
I like this sort of thing. I think it's got a lovely blue. I, I see exactly where you're coming from. The market for this is definitely slowed, but it's still got a real nice crisp yeah. blue with all the gilding going on. I Might it, it make yeah. £68? Pounds? Uh, it could do. We've got 40 to 60. It okay. could well get okay. there, couldn't it? They might yep. wipe its face. Okay, yep. fine. Well, overall then, I fancy they're not going to be too much up or too much down. Yep. Whether they need the bonus bar or not, I don't know, but let's see it anyway. Now, girls, this is exciting, isn't it? You spent £298, you gave your poor expert, Thomas, £2 only. Thomas, what did you spend it on? Well, I love a challenge. You didn't I... spend it all, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, girls. So I bought a pair of... Wait for it, don't laugh. 19th century sh old Sheffield plate trencher salts for your table with Bristol blue glass liners. Um, and they are simply wonderful for your rock salt in here or your molden salt on your dining room table. And okay, you red hatters, what do you think about them? Fantastic, they're lovely. Okay, girls, so there's it then. You got it, one pound each for these. Unbelievable. So ask him how much they're gonna bring. Yeah, how, how much do you think they'll make? Well, they might make five pounds. Right. Each. They might, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Each. each. Yeah, they oh. might make 10 pounds for the pair. I think with that price, we've really got to think about this. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they might make 30 pounds? <laughs> if they make 30 pounds, I'll be dancing a jig. You, you promise? I do! Yeah, right. Fantastic. Okay, you don't pick now, you pick later. Right now, though, let's find out what the auctioneer thinks about Tom's trench assaults. Well, poor old Thomas only had two pounds and he went out and bought these two condiments. Oh, I'm so pleased you said that. What? To find out, he's done well to find them for two pounds. Well, it? hasn't he? He's got Bristol blue liners in. Look, yep. perfect. Which could um, easily end up in a far better boat. Of course it could than, yep. than what there is there. So, you know, those are worth the two pounds on their own. Of course they yep. are. Perfect. So, what's your estimate then? Uh, we've got 10 to 15. Have you really? Brilliant. Well, he's done very well with those. That's yep. super. That's yep. those two done. And whether the team go for it or not is another matter. Now, for the blues. We have got, for Tex and Wren, the crane. <laughs> Looks to me a bit like that stuff. What's it called, that German stuff? No, lava. I think you are dead. Yes. You lava. Are. Well, lava yeah. wear, isn't it? How much? 10 to 15. Okay, 12 pounds paid. Yeah. I mean, that brown, lavery type, glutinous glaze is not everybody's cup of tea, but there are collectors, right? There's not many of them. Okay, fine. Next is the boots tin, okay. which is for the first aid. Mm -hmm. Every business needs a first aid tin. If you like him, 10 to 15 for me. Is it? 12 pounds yeah. paid. Okay. That's okay. A We're ahead theme here. going here. Certainly is. Now you've got the Hygiena Kitchen Cabinet, which is so evocative of an era. Yeah. Yeah. There it is back there. And it's fab. You know, it's, it? it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, we have a lot come through. It's 30 to 50 pounds all day long. People want deconstructed kitchen fittings, don't they? They don't want the fitted kitchen look anymore if you're going for that period thing. You know, that's in at the moment, that sort of thing. Well, they paid £115. We've got the internet to help us? We have and we will need it. OK. Well, if it lets us down, they can go with the bonus pie. Let's go and have a look at it. You spent £139. You gave Christina £161. Christina, what did you spend it on? I totally indulged myself. It's very selfish. And I bought you a little bit of jewellery. I'm sorry okay. to say. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. In this lovely little box, we've got an Art Deco Jade and Seed Pearl 9 carat white gold necklace. OK, what do you think? On well, first impressions, that's quite nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought that you might appreciate it. Um, but it's, it's typically Art Deco. If you think of the Art Deco period, you've got that wonderful love of contrast in colours. They use a lot of coral and black and green and white and green and black. So it's typical of the period, but still very wearable today and very much a style that is very fashionable today. So do you want to have a little look at it? How much? How much did we pay? Oh, straight to... Oh, oh straight to the There we go, straight to the point. I was hoping to sell it a bit more to you <laughs> first. <laughs> well, you left me with £161, um, and I have change of a pound. Ah. So I spent £160 on okay. it. 
She's got to get into our ethics of uh, spending low. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But very, very popular, especially with the Chinese market being very buoyant. They do love jade, and it's beautifully carved as well, so very wearable. What sort of profit do you see in this? Well, I would hope, as a, as a nice piece of jewellery, I see it making at auction between £150 and £200. Good, and you spent yeah. £160. So there's the math. Yeah. Thank you very much, chaps. Thank you, Christina. For the viewers at home, let's find out what the auctioneer thinks about the necklace. Well, there you go. Christina had a ton of money, and she fell in love with the jade pendant. Ooh, OK. Does it pluck your heartstrings? Not a lot, I have to say. If you were taking a punt and you were being really strong, what would you put on it? 50 to £80. Pounds. Well, Christina paid £160. Pounds. Okay. So, I think, that yeah, she's gambling on the jade being red hot at the moment in the market in our auction world, so... We'll find out in a minute. Thanks, Rich. Well, Richard's ready, the room's packed, and the teams are poised. Gosh, you are colourful, you two, aren't you? Absolutely amazing. So, first up is the uh, compendium, and here it comes. 1489, one, two, three bids on the book. I can start at 60 pounds. 60 pounds, I'm bid. 60 pounds, I'm bid. 60 pounds, I'm bid. 70 pounds and 80 pounds. But 80 pounds with me. But 80 pounds. Rooms out. 80 pounds with me. Uh -oh. All done and sold uh -oh. at 80 <laughs> pounds. 50 pounds. 80 pounds is minus 50. We're going to have to. Never mind. Now, cross your legs for the trunk. Paying trunk now. A lot of interest on this lot. In, 120. Bids on the book at 120, 130, 140. 140 with me, 140. Internet's out, 140. Here at 140, all done. 140, top of four bids. Sold at 140. Goes Which 140. is plus 40 pounds. You are minus 10. You are so genius. Let's copy set. 20 pounds start me. 20 pounds, 20 pounds I'm bid. 20 pounds I'm bid. 20 pounds I'm bid. 20, 30 pounds I'm bid. 30 or 5 I'm bid. 35 I'm bid. 40 the internet. 40 pounds I'm bid. The internet. 45 the internet. 45, 50 pounds the internet. 50 pounds the internet. 50 pounds the internet. You're all done. 50 pounds sold then uh -oh. at 50. Pounds. It's net bid. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds is minus eighteen pounds, which means overall you're minus twenty-eight. This is quite taut, actually. So tight. So what are we going to do about the salts? Go with the salts. Ooh, I can't get that pounds. I okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The decision is made. We're going with the salts, and here they come. Ten, five, two pounds. Two to go. Two to go. Two bid. Six bid. Eight bid. Ten bid. Internet. 10 bid the internet, 10 bids the internet, 10 bid the internet at 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pound the internet, 15 pounds the internet, sold then at 15 pounds. That is phenomenal, internet. isn't it? Plus 13 pounds, you are clever. That means overall you're only minus 15. You've clawed it back, girls. Well done. And that could be a winning score. Text, Ren, how are you feeling? I'm not sure it's the caffeine, but I'm getting a bit nervous. <laughs> First up is the German crane, and here it comes. Something on my book, two pounds. Two, three, four, six, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty pounds. Front row, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds, front row, twenty pounds, twenty pounds, twenty pounds. You're out, madam. Twenty pounds. Nope. I'm Taking a head. Twenty pounds on the front row. Sold then at oh, twenty. Done. Pounds. Well done. Plus eight pounds. That's a good start. That's great. Five, one, two, eight. Now we go to the first eight in. Two pounds. Two, four, six, eight, ten, fifteen. Fifteen right away. Fifteen pound of it in the room. 15 in the room, 15 pounds well, in the room at 15, all out, sold then at 15, yours it is, thank you. Plus three pounds, I think matter with that. 15, 13, the kitchen cabinet, uh, 10 pound I bid, 10 pound I bid, the cabinet at 10 pound, 15, 20 pound, 25, 30 pound, 35, 35 on the front, 40 pound the internet. Forty pound the internet, forty pound, forty pound a bit. Forty five the internet, fifty the internet, sixty the internet, sixty the internet. Room is out. Sixty the internet, seventy the internet, eighty pound the internet. Come on, internet. Eighty going. pound, Come leaning on. back, relaxing. On, eighty pound, one more bid. Come on. No, it's not. Eighty pound the internet. All done. Uh -oh. All finished. Eighty pounds. 
80 pounds is minus 35, and so that makes you minus 24. Oh, no, it's going so well. Nothing like as bad as it could have been there. Are we going to do the jade pendant or not? Yeah, yeah, we're going with it. Seriously, are you going to go with this bonus bag? Yes. Okay. yes oh, guys. Okay, so what did the auctioneer say? The decision is made, the die is cast. Now you've said that, I can tell you the auction is estimated at 50 to 80, right? Oh. Um, it's very mean. Which I think is very mean. Here we go, here we go. Here it comes. Start at 50. 50 pounds I'm bid. 50 pounds I'm bid. 60, 70. Yes, yes. 70 pounds, at 70 pounds. Internet, you're right, at 70 pounds. At 70 pounds I'm bid at 70 pounds. At 70 pounds, we have 80 pounds the internet. At eighty pound the internet. At eighty pound the internet. At eighty pounds. Eighty pound the internet. Oh rooms out. Nice. Sold then at eighty pounds. Oh, no. Eighty oh, pounds so is sorry. minus eighty oh, pounds. So it's minus one oh four. Oh guys, hey, we broke the hundred pounds barrier. Well, the trouble is, it just shows how chancy some of this stuff is, isn't it? One day the thing's going to make two hundred pounds. The next day it's going to make a hundred pounds. I'm really sorry, guys. But um, you know, there you go. All right, nothing. Ventured nothing gained, and who knows, £104 minus might be a winning score. It will seem worse than before, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 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 what's going on here? Have you changed allegiances? <laughs> you two partake. guys? Just partaking in the... We was robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Did they nick them? Yes. Very sweet chat. <laughs> anyway, there it is. There is a chasm between our teams today. And I'm afraid on the other side of the divide are today the blues. Aww. Anyway, there you go, chats. Minus £104. But we've had the most brilliant dynamic because before we got to the bonus by moment, the, on the leaderboard, the blues were ahead. Oh, no! <laughs> yes. Oh, no. And if they hadn't gone with the bonus by, they might be winners really today. <laughs> but don't feel too badly about it, because the winning team managed to select the bonus buy that did make a profit, and had you not gone with the bonus buy, Tom's profit would have put the Reds in the lead anyway. <laughs> so, is that not a complicated double whammy? <laughs> Has this scorpion not got a sting in its tail? Anyway, you lost today, Blues by a substantial £104. But did you have a nice time? Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's been great. The victors today are the girls who've only managed to fail to make £15, which is minus 15 is your overall total score. And you had a nice time? Wonderful. Yeah, we've loved having you. Anyway, congratulations on your victory. And join us soon for some more bargain hunting. Yes?